Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into the NHV boot once again and I'll guide you on how to use the R drive image to migrate your computer's Windows operating system to a virtual machine using VMware. This feature can be incredibly useful in various scenarios, such as testing new software, creating virtual labs, or transitioning your system to a virtual environment. So let's jump right in and get started. The first step is to plug in the NHV boot USB to the computer you want to migrate and boot it up from the USB. Once you're in, launch the R drive image program. Now, we'll create a disk image of the computer's 120 gigabytes disk or disk one, along with all its partitions. To create the disk image, Click on Create Image button in the main menu. Select the drives or partitions you want to include. In this case, the system drive and specific partitions. Save the image on an external hard drive with a meaningful name like Windows 10 PC02. Also, choose the VMDK format for compatibility with VMware. After clicking Next, you'll see the details of the image, including the operations involved. Start the image creation process, and in just a few minutes, the image will be successfully created. Now, let's move on to setting up VMware. If you don't have VMware installed, head over to their website and download the latest version of VMware Workstation Player. Install it following the straightforward process. In VMware, go to File and click on New Virtual Machine to start the wizard. Choose the typical configuration as recommended. Since we'll be using our own disk image, select the option to install the operating system later. Specify the guest OS system type, in this case, Windows 10 64-bit. Give the virtual machine a name, such as Windows 10 PC02, and choose the location to save it. Opt for storing the virtual disk as a single file for convenience. Customize the hardware settings according to your needs. and finish creating the virtual machine. Now, let's replace the newly created virtual disk with the one we made using the R drive image. Close the VMware, navigate to the virtual machine's location, and find the virtual disk file with the .vmdk extension. Replace it with the R drive image file, ensuring they have the same file name. Open VMware again, select your virtual machine from the library, and click on Play Virtual Machine to start it. VMware will recognize the replaced virtual disk. Your computer's operating system is now running as a virtual machine. You can interact with it just like you would on a physical computer. To finalize the setup, install VMware tools. Go to the VM menu and click on Install VMware Tools. Navigate to the DVD drive and run the Setup64 file. Restart the virtual machine and you're good to go. You can even switch to the full screen mode using the toolbar button and run disk management to check the disk. With everything set up, you can explore the virtual machine, 
check your Windows license activation, and perform tasks just like on a physical machine. The possibilities are endless, from safe software testing to running multiple operating systems on a single computer. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.